Well, hey there, guys, and welcome back. On this week's show, we are taking a first look at We Create's Fume Extractor. Well, for me, best case scenario when it comes to laser engraving is for me to vent to the outside. It is my preferred method, but you know what? Sometimes that just isn't possible. And I'm sure that with some of you out there, sometimes that also is not possible. Maybe you live in a small apartment. Maybe you don't have the means to vent outside. Maybe it's just too cold. Maybe you don't have windows that open in the area where your laser is. But for whatever reason, Sometimes it is just not possible to vent outside. And that is where the fume extractor from We Create comes in handy. Now, a while back on the show, I showed you the We Create Vision, and I was quite impressed with that machine. And the good folks that We Create have sent me out this extractor today to play around with and see what I think of it. And I thought I would bring it to you today here on the show so I could bring my results and my thoughts on it to you, because for some of you out there, I am positive that this would be a, a welcome asset to you if you are unable to vent to the outside. So either way, guys, let's take a look inside the house. We're going to go through what you get, and we're going to give this a little bit of a test. Well, this is the We Create Fume Extractor as it comes out of the box. This is everything you see here. It comes with the extractor itself. You have your manual, a couple of hose clamps. This here is your top flange that you will connect your hose to from your laser or whatever it is that you're going to be venting. We have a remote, a screwdriver. We have two spare pre-filters and a length of hose. Now the length of hose for me isn't really necessary, um, as I do have the We Create laser that also comes with this exact same hose. So for me, this will be a spare. Now the fume extractor comes with a full set of filters. That would be the one top pre-filter. The next layer is a medium filter. And then of course the main filter at the bottom. Now, now you can access those filters by releasing the tabs on the sides, removing the top, and here are our filters right here. Now guys, one thing I want to point out here is that I don't I don't know why, but in most cases for me when an arrow is on something, it means that it points up, but for the filters of the we create, you want your arrows to point down. So this is your medium filter. I've already removed the pre-filter here that goes on top and then we have this rather large main filter here. Let me just pull this out. It's quite heavy. Now guys, let's have a look inside and see what the interior consists of. And when we look inside our fume extractor, there really isn't anything mind-blowing in here. It's pretty much a concealed unit. You have some rubber seals around the outside, which helps to seal your filters in. And right here in the middle, you have your powerful extraction fan, and that draws all the air from our top hose down through the filters and then vents it out through our side angled vents of our unit. So how about how loud this unit is? Well, you know what? Let me get the filters put back in this thing and uh, we'll turn it on and we'll do some decibel tests. Well, we'll just reach down here on the side and we will turn on our power switch. Now guys, this puts the unit in standby because of course the We Create Fume Extractor comes with a remote, which is kind of a nice little feature where you don't have to mess around with going over to your fume extractor to turn it on or off. You can do everything right from your computer or right from the laser. So let's turn this on and see where we're at in decibel levels at 50% power on the fume extractor. Now we can see here why this is running. Our LEDs show us our power level or our fan level. We can turn them up here manually or use our remote. And we can see here that it is at 50% of its output. 
So let's turn it up to 100 and see how we are for decibel levels. Now here's the thing. At 50% of the power, the fume extractor was registering less than 60 decibels. Now, 60 decibels is a regular conversation that you would be having with somebody from about a distance of three feet. That's about 60 decibels. So not very strong at all. Now, as it went to the 100%, we were a little over 60 at about 63 to 64 decibels. But guys, even that is just regular street noise. It is not anything that is dangerous. It's not anything that's ear splitting. It is not loud. And in fact, it is in the range of moderate noise. It is the same sort of noise that you would have around your house on a regular basis. So this thing, as far as I'm concerned, is quite quiet. Now, running it at 100% power, to me, I don't see any point in that. If you are running a laser, say an open frame laser that is in an enclosure that does not have any fan or any extraction methods whatsoever, then you may want to run the fume extractor at 100% to draw that air out of your um, enclosure in order to vent it and, and filter it through the fume extractor. However, if you're using something like the WeCreate Vision, where it has an internal fan that is venting the enclosure as it runs, there's no need to run this at 100%. You could probably bring it right down to 50%, filter it just fine that way, and honestly, guys, that should do you just fine. I don't see any purpose um, with a fully enclosed laser system that has venting fans already installed I don't see any purpose of running this at 100%. So for starters, I'm going to run it at 50 and see how we do. So what I want to do next is I want to get our WeCreate Vision out here on the table. I want to hook it up to our extractor and I want to do a couple of test cuts. In order to connect the fume extractor to your laser, you just want to use this flange that they provide. Slide your hose from your laser over top of it and then using one of the included pipe clamps just tighten it in place. Once you get it tightened and you're happy with that this larger section of the end just friction fits right down in there. That's it. You're ready to go. So let's get the WeCreate fired up and let's take this for a test spin. Well one of my favorite projects to test is my little charging cord tags. Guys, it's a great one to test because it creates quite a bit of smoke with engraving the actual letters with the full engrave, and then it creates even more smoke with the cutting. So what I wanna do here is for starters, we're gonna refresh our image. And once again, this camera is phenomenal. You can see it's not gonna be able to engrave on here but by using the camera, we can use up every little bit of scrap that we want. There we go, look at that. Okay, so let's do the autofocus. And now that the laser is happy with that, we will start our project and send it to the laser. But just before we click our start button on the front of the WeCreate Vision, we're going to start up our fume extractor. Well, we'll just look at this off cut here. Look at how nicely that uh, aligned the pattern using the camera to use every little last bit of that piece of stock. And of course, although we're not really reviewing the laser today, uh, once again, some nice engravings and some nice cuttings. They look fantastic, very clean. Well, I'm gonna do a whole bunch more of these. I have about another dozen of those to cut. And when we're done that, we're going to have a look at the, at the filters of the fume extractor. So I've cut 14 of these tags, uh, quite a bit of smoke generated. 
But let's see what the filters look like at this point. Let's see exactly what it is that they're filtering out, if anything. Well, now you have to remember that this is a very moderate amount of engraving. And you can see the darkened area there of the soot that has been collected by just this pre-filter. Now, the medium filter doesn't look much different. I'm pretty sure that the main filter is not going to look much different either, um, as the pre-filter is the one that takes the brunt of the material. But check that out. After just a few tags, uh, no major engraving, and this is what it is already taken out of the air and prevent it from just blasting around. Now, do I have some thoughts on this after using it here for, you know, the past little while? Of course I do. So why don't we head out to the shop and uh, we'll talk about that. Okay, so this machine here <laughs> seems to work quite well. Um, but there's something that you really need to realize, and that is about the filters, the pre-filter, the medium filter, and the main filter at the bottom. Guys, these filters are consumables, kind of like the blades of a scroll saw. They are not meant to be permanent, and you will need to replace them at some point in time. Now, the, um, the pre-filter it is suggested to replace it every 30 to 60 days. The mid filter every six to eight months and the main filter every seven to 12 months. But how often are you using your laser? That is with some heavy duty use. For me, for the amount that I use the one particular laser or any laser without I'm venting to the outside, chances are I'm not going to need to replace these at any point in time soon. So I will probably get more than the recommended replacement time out of my filters just because it's the way that I use them. So you will need to determine for your usage, how is it that you plan on using this? Is this going to be your full-time venting? Are you going to be engraving with your laser engraver all the time, like eight hours a day? Because if that's the case and you're doing it kind of as a business venture, you may want to incorporate in your business plan the cost of the filters. And I'm going to put a link down below to these filters so you can check them out yourself so you know what you're in for uh, when you do have to replace them. But let me tell you a story here. When I was engraving, as I said earlier in the video, I love doing my tags, my charging cord tag labels um, when I'm testing something because it has a lot of deep dark engraving with the full engraved letters and it has cutting of the three millimeter plywood, which in turn creates quite a bit of smoke. So while it was engraving all of the letters with the fume extractor on, whether it be 50%, I tried it with all different kinds, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. I even went down as low as 30. The lower powers worked for me because of the exhaust fan in the WeCreate Vision. I didn't have to have it up at 100%. So while it was engraving, it filtered out all of the fumes and filtered out all of the smells or the odors. Once it started cutting, the smoke and the fumes were filtered, but I could smell the smoke. I could smell the smoke from the cutting. Now, some of you may be saying, well, then this thing doesn't work. You have to realize what is happening here. Now, the difference between fumes and scents or odors is a fume is a gas or smoke or vapor, and it can be dangerous. It can be volatile. That is what a fume is, but an odor is a property of that particular fume, let's say, or that particular process. So while the plywood itself has no actual smells, the fume in this case would be the smoke created by the laser by cutting and the fume extractor completely removed that. I even went through the room with a very powerful laser pointer 
and shone it everywhere in the room and I could not see the beam. So there was no smoke in the room. But you have to remember the smell is a product of the process. So there was no smell before. There's a smell once it cuts. An odor is a scent. A fume is a gaseous object that, that is released by another object. It's one of those things where, let's just say natural gas. The natural gas is the fume. That is what damages you. That's what hurts you. That natural gas coming out, that is the fume. But it has no odor. So they add a smell to it in order to give our sense, our, our senses the ability to have our sense of smell detect it. And that's what's happening here. So while I could still smell the cutting, that doesn't mean that it's not doing its job. It is still filtering out the fume, which is the smoke, which carries all of the bad stuff out into the air. Um, you have to remember too that the We Create Vision is not an airtight unit. So some of that smoke can escape. You have to remember that with the We Create Fume Extractor and the filtering system that they have in place, it filters out according to the specifications 99.97% of the fumes that are created when laser engraving. And that can be anything. It could be the toxins. It could be um, the dust. That's what settles initially in that first pre-filter. It can be anything like that. It's the stuff that's bad for you. That's what's contained in the fumes. The smell of the burning, the scent of it, that's just a smell. That's just what lets your senses know that something is going on. So when it comes to these fume extractors, whether it be We Creates or another brand, right across the board, it doesn't matter who they are, don't confuse fumes and odors or fumes and scents. They are two different things. One can be, but doesn't have to be volatile. And the other is just something to let you know that there's something going on. You know, that's the smell or the product of a process. So what do I think of the fume extractor? Well, you know what? I kind of like the unit. I love how quiet it is. I love the remote. I love how easy it is to use. I love the fact that if I have a quick engraving job to do, I don't have to muck around with having to get my plywood up into the window and then hook my hoses up to it, get my laser over there, et cetera, et cetera. It's quite a process for me to laser engrave anything in the house. It's quite a process for me to do laser engraving out here in the shop because there is setup involved. I don't have a designated laser station that I can just go to and laser engrave. But with the fume extractor, now I do, because for the smaller engraving jobs, or even the larger ones, I can just step in, turn the machine on, and away I go. Run this thing at my 50%, which I found worked best for me, and away you go, you're done. It, it just takes away all of that smoke, no smoke in the house, a little bit of a scent from the from the plywood burning, but that's the product of the plywood. It's not the machine not doing its job, put it that way. I like the remote. I think the remote works really well. It's very convenient for me to use that from my computer now or what have you. I like the fact that it doesn't weigh 400 pounds. Um, the actual laser is much heavier than this. This thing here, I can pretty much carry it with one hand. It's not that big of a deal. I like the fact that it's somewhat compact. It tucks away in behind the laser. It's not getting in my way. I like the fact that it's an all metal construction. I really like that about it. Guys, it's just, it's just a product that works. And um, you know what? It's, if you're one of these people that don't have the ability to vent to the outside, but you really want to get into laser engraving, a fume extractor might be the way that you can do this. This might be the solution to your fume extraction problems. And there you have it. The We Create Fume Extractor. Guys, this is a great little unit. And while it might seem a little on the expensive side when you look at the website, 
you have to think about what your health is worth. And if you're getting into laser engraving and you want to extract the fumes out of your work area, the price of the WeCreate extractor is well worth the health of your lungs. Now, if you can vent outside, that is best case scenario for me. That is my preferred method. And whenever I can vent outside, I do because that's the best way for me to go about it. It takes it all out of here and I don't have to worry not a bit about it. But as I said, there are some times when you've got a quick little job that you want to do that you just can't be bothered to hook everything up, but you don't want to take your health for granted. And that's where this unit comes into play. Now, all the accessories that come with it, it comes with every single thing you need. The full set of filters, the pre-filters, which are the ones that need to get changed the most. The recommended time is 30 to 60 days, but it comes with three of those. So if you need to replace those, let's just say 60 days. So you've got six months worth of your pre-filters. Um, but that also is dependent on how much you're engraving. And you can press the OK button and it will give you a display on the front of the panel to tell you how long your engraver has been running. So if you're wondering, you don't have to keep track of it. It keeps track of it for you. So it comes with all the filters. It comes with the remote. There's a battery in the remote. It comes with a hose. It comes with the hose clamps. It comes with a flange to fit it to the actual we create uh, machine itself. It comes with a manual and a screwdriver. Now the screwdriver is actually to replace the fuse. There is a hidden fuse in the side panel of this. Very clear in the instructions as to how to get it out, how to replace it. But that is what the screwdriver is for. But guys, one-stop shopping. This is all you need, you get it, and you go. That's all there is to it. Either way, if you are someone that is having issues with having the ability to vent to the outside and you were thinking about a fume extractor, but you weren't quite sure whether or not it was going to do what you want it to do, well then hopefully today's show has provided you with those answers and hopefully this is the answer for you. Guys, I want to thank you so much for tuning in. I want to thank We Create for sending out the fume extractor for me to play around with today. Um, this is a great little unit. And I'm sure it's going to serve me well. Guys, I'm going to post all the links down below for this stuff if you're interested uh, for the filter sets and for the We Create fume extractor. I'll even put a link down there for the We Create Vision in case you missed the link from the last show. Guys, if you haven't already, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. We have an amazing audience base here, guys, and I'm hoping that you're going to consider becoming a part of that. Guys, I want to thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed today's program. I hope you found this to be a little bit informative. I hope that this is the answer for you if you are having some extraction problems with your laser engraving. But more importantly, I hope you're going to join me again next week when I bring you yet another Alternative Tuesdays.